IPTF 14 HLS is an unusual supernova star that has erupted continuously for the last three years as of 2017. It had previously erupted in 1954. None of the theories nor proposed hypotheses fully explain all aspects of the object. Observations The star IPTF 14 HLS was discovered in September 2014 by the Intermediate Palomar Transient Factory, and it was first made public in November 2014 by the CRTS survey as CSS 141118 092034 plus 504148. Based on that information, it was confirmed as an exploding star in January 2015. It was thought then that it was a single supernova event type 2P that would dim in about 100 days, but instead, it continued its eruption for more than 600 days while fluctuating in brightness at least five times. The brightness varied by as much as 50%, going through five peaks. Also, rather than cooling down with time as expected of a type 2P supernova, the object maintains a near constant temperature of about 5,000 6,000 K checks of photographs from the past found one from 1954 showing an explosion in the same location. Since 1954, the star has exploded six times, the principal investigator is IAIR Arkavi. His international team used the Low Resolution Imaging Spectrometer LRIS on the Keck I telescope to obtain the spectrum of the star's host galaxy, and the Deep Imaging and Multi-Object Spectrograph DEMOS on Keck II to obtain high-resolution spectra of the unusual supernova itself. The host galaxy of IPTF 14 HLS is a star-forming dwarf galaxy, implying low metal content, and the weak iron line absorption seen in the supernova spectra are consistent with a low metallicity progenitor. The study estimates that the star that exploded was at least 50 times more massive than the Sun. The researchers also remark that the debris expansion rate is slower than any other known supernova by a factor of 6, as if exploding in slow motion. However, if this were due to relativistic time dilation then the spectrum would be red-shifted by the same factor of 6, which is inconsistent with their observations. In 2017 the expansion speed was constrained to approximately 1,000 km per second. Topic. Future observations IPTF 14 HLS is an ongoing event. Multi wavelength observations are necessary for understanding the nature of such a peculiar event, and when it finally becomes a remnant nebula, new clues as to the nature of the progenitor star and the explosion mechanism may be revealed. Arkavi's team plans to continue monitoring the object in other bands of the spectrum in collaboration with additional international telescopes and observatories. These facilities include the Nordic Optical Telescope and NASA's Swift Space Telescope, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, while the Hubble Space Telescope began to image the location in December 2017. Topic. Hypotheses Current theory predicts that the star would consume all its hydrogen in the first supernova explosion, and depending on the initial size of the star, the remnants of the core should form a neutron star or a black hole, so it is thought that there is a novel unidentified phenomenon happening. There is no known theory that explains the observation. None of the hypotheses listed below can explain the continued presence of hydrogen or the energetics observed. According to IAIR Arkavi, this discovery requires refinement of existing explosion scenarios, or the development of a new scenario, that can produce the same spectral signatures as common type IIP supernovae but with an evolution slowed down by a factor of 6 to 10, provide energy to prolong the light curve by a factor of approximately 6 while not introducing narrow line spectral features or strong radio and X ray emission indicative of circumstellar material interaction. Produce at least five peaks in the light curve. Decouple the deduced line forming photosphere from the continuum photosphere. Maintain a photospheric phase with a constant line velocity gradient for over 600 days. Topic. Antimatter One hypothesis involves burning antimatter in a stellar core, this hypothesis holds that massive stars become so hot in their cores that energy is converted into matter and antimatter, causing the star to become extremely unstable, and undergo repeated bright eruptions over periods of years. 
Antimatter in contact with matter would cause an explosion that blows off the outer layers of the star and leaves the core intact. This process can repeat over decades before the large final explosion and collapse to a black hole. Topic: <laughs> Pulsational pair instability supernova. Another hypothesis is the pulsational pair instability supernova, a massive star that may lose about half its mass before a series of violent pulses begins. On every pulse, material rushing away from the star can catch up with earlier ejected material, producing bright flashes of light as it collides, simulating an additional explosion see supernova imposter. However, the energy released by the IPTF-14 HLS supernova is more than the theory predicts. Topic. Magnetar Magnetar models can also explain many of the observed features, but give a smooth light curve and may require an evolving magnetic field strength. Topic. Shock interaction Another hypothesis, based on the light spectrum, suggests it is a clear signature of shock interaction of ejected material with dense circumstellar material. In December 2017, a team using the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope reported that they may have detected in IPTF 14 HLS, for the first time, high energy gamma ray emission from a supernova. The gamma ray source appears 300 days after the explosion of IPTF-14 HLS, and is still observable, but more observations are needed to verify that IPTF-14 HLS is the exact source of the observed gamma ray emission. If the association between the gamma ray source and IPTF-14 HLS is real, there are difficulties to model its gamma ray emission in the framework of particle acceleration in supernova ejecta produced shock. The energy conversion efficiency needs to be very high, so it is suggested that a jet anisotropic emission from a close companion may be necessary to explain some of the observed data. No X-ray emissions have been detected, which makes the interpretation of the gamma-ray emission a difficult task. Topic. Common envelope jets This hypothesis suggests common envelope jet supernova CEJSN imposters resulting from a neutron star companion. It proposes, "...a new type of repeating transient outburst initiated by a neutron star entering the envelope of an evolved massive star, accreting envelope material and subsequently launching jets which interact with their surroundings." The ejecta could reach velocities of 10,000 km per second despite not being a supernova. Topic. See also Eta Carina, a massive star undergoing similar eruptions Topic. References Topic. External links Light curves and spectra on the Open Supernova Catalog this star refuses to die, even after it explodes, and gadget. The star that blew up a little. Then blew up a lot, sci-fi wire.